Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Fernandez. I'm a nutritionist and I wanted to teach you how you can order a blood test online uh, in India. Now, as a nutritionist, I ask for nutritional profile like vitamins and minerals. I ask for your cholesterol profile. Now, a lot of people uh, eat randomly, but they're not aware if their internal pipelines, the blood circulatory system, or what we call as blood test is correct or not correct. So asking for a blood test could be a great way to figuring out if there are any deficiencies or any alarming uh, high levels or low levels that you want to take care by changing the way you eat. So what I've done is bear with me, I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to teach you how you can order your own blood, your own blood test. And um, this is the link. Okay. Um, I'm putting up the link in the descriptor of this live email. Okay. And when you click on this link, it will take you to this page. We've collaborated with Thyrocare uh, because they give a very economical pricing. Um, if you're diagnosing for a serious illness, please consult your doctor. Please consult the lab that your doctor wants to work with. But from a nutrition perspective, I just want to know. So once or twice a year, I kind of ask for a blood test. I look at my lipid profile. I look at different things. So I've created a few of the blood tests. One's called the Nutritionist Choice, which is a 130 uh, test blood test. And then there's the Nutritionist Choice with 140 tests. Now, if I were you, I would do the Nutritionist Choice or 140 test. You can also separately, once or twice a year, just do the full vitamins. So let me share with you over here, what is the Nutritionist Choice? We've got all the iron deficiency, liver, complete hemogram, you know, um, toxic elements. So we've got 22 of the toxic elements over here. So sometimes I want to know if there are any, like you're a smoker, you're a drinker, alcohol, you live near hard water water or you're in a chemical industry, you might want to know that electrolytes, the chi, chi, three chief electrolytes are also there in this test. We've got 14 vitamins in this, which is where, uh, you know, you get a uh, good value for money in addition to the thyroid. But better still is you can do the 140 test once a year. And then you don't need to do it regularly if you don't have any issues and you're hale and hearty. So once a year, do it. Look for your diabetic markers. You know, look at look at things that you want to be uh, looking like HbO1c and all. Now, if you do this blood test, my nutritionist will go through it and tell you, hey, is there something wrong? And oh, you know, your H1c is high. Maybe you could start having five grams of amla powder in the morning because that lowers cholesterol. That improves glucose sensitivity. Cinnamon quarter teaspoon three times a day, quarter 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 improves. Um, you know your sugar levels. And then finally, I want everybody at some point in their life to do the food intolerance panel, which is where you find out which food is fighting in your body. So if you look over here, you've got 38 fishes, nuts, spices, dairy. So you've got different types of dairy that is over here. When I did my food intolerance test, it came back for wheat, it came back for dairy. I only can drink camel's milk which is very funny. And I'm not supposed to have peanuts, uh, raspberries, uh, strawberries and stuff like that. I'm going to have peanuts, nothing happens to me. But I've noticed the next morning I get up with a blocked nose. So the idea is in 2022 and onwards, let's discover the foods that you put into your body. Are they fighting with you? Please understand people, once you cross 50, you've got a lot of aches and pains in your body, in your joints and stuff like that. So I genuinely believe that everything from thyroid, to pancreatitis, uh, to fatty liver, to uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, there's some inflammation. This inflammation, I believe, is coming from the food chain. So maybe you could do a food intolerance test. So I'm going to share this link with you where you can get this uh, blood test. All you have to do is put in your PIN code, enter your name, you know, enter your mobile number, do all of this. If you want printed reports, click on that. How can we reach you? on email or whatever. And you also need to tick mark that you authorize the blood testing lab to contact you uh, for booking your appointment. Now, crucial thing, uh, do your last meal at around eight o'clock at night and do your blood test uh, in the morning at least 10 to 12 hours later. Uh, if you have a uh, cholesterol and sugar problem, keep a 12 hour fast. So 
uh, stop your last meal, let's say it's seven o'clock in the evening and call for the blood test at seven o'clock in the morning. By the way, these are home delivery models. So people will come home to you. You can drink water in the morning, but don't have any tea or coffee. It has to be in fasted state. Can these tests be done by you eating it if it's a child and all? Um, yes, to a certain extent you can. But when you're submitting the report, tell the dietitian that you've consumed a meal a half an hour before giving the blood sample. And normally, if you want to take your sugar levels, it always has to be in fasted state. So I hope this has helped you. And I hope, uh, you know, you take the decision to take care of your health by taking the first step, which is getting a blood test done. And as Ryan Fernando, as a celebrity nutritionist, I brought it to you at the most economical possible level in uh, this subcontinent of India. So thank you so much for listening and God bless.